This video is going to demonstrate how to do a remote start on a Toyota 22R engine. And by remote start, I'm not talking about this kind of remote start. I'm talking about this kind of remote start. So this is helpful if you don't have a buddy to be inside your vehicle all day long while you fuck around in here doing whatever you're doing. Um, you can do this yourself. You can start it from right here inside the engine compartment. You probably know that already if you're uh, watching this video. You probably also know this already, but uh, it's worth mentioning that this is a 22R with a carburetor, not a 22RE. The fuel injected, if you're trying to do a remote start on a 22RE, there's a dude who has a great video on YouTube who shows you how to do it by going to your fuse box and hooking into the uh, uh, start relay on your fuse box on a 22R. But as you can see, uh, sorry, on a 22RE. But as you can see here on a 22R, there is no start relay. You got to start solenoid over here. And there's this wiring harness that goes to the start solenoid. And as you can see, we got a few things tapped into that. So that's what you're going to want to tap into. Um, before I get into this, it's worth mentioning you should have your vehicle in neutral. Make sure it's not in gear. Um, and you will need the ignition turned on. So the key in the cylinder ignition to the on position. Once you've done that, um, you will want to tap into a couple wires here. This black wire with the red stripe is your clutch safety wire. If you ground that wire, it will trick the vehicle into thinking that the clutch is depressed, thereby allowing you to start the vehicle. If you don't ground this wire, it will... Um, it will not think the clutch is depressed and it won't let you start the vehicle. Another option, of course, is you can just depress the clutch with something. You could wedge something inside the vehicle, you know, between the seat and the clutch, but then um, you're putting pressure on your clutch, which is not ideal, especially if you're gonna spend a lot of time in here messing around. Um, that's just putting wear and tear on, on, the, uh, on the clutch. So you probably don't wanna do that. So I just used a piercing probe here these things are pretty cool they're cheap get the job done and wired it over here to negative battery terminal i mean you could do it to you could go to really anywhere obviously just any any exposed metal in the vehicle to ground obviously and then it's pretty simple the ignition focus come on ignition wire strip a little bit back Attach one side of the remote starter to this wire, which you'll notice is right next to the black and red wire. Not kitty corner. There's another black, this looks like maybe an eight gauge wire, pretty thick gauge wire here. Black, solid black. On the opposite side, kitty corner, you don't want this one down here. You want this one right here, which is right next to the black and red. Tap into that with one side of your remote starter, obviously. The other side of the remote starter is going to a very, very blurry battery terminal. Come on, really? Good golly. All right. So, other side of the remote starter here. See, we got a little red light on the remote starter. A very blurry red light. Uh, and you will hear a little click on the start solenoid. So that just lets you know the circuit's engaged. There seems to be some kind of current limiting in here, so it doesn't actually course kick over the vehicle uh, until you press this button then it lets all the angry pixies through and does a thing so let's give it a shot here we go come on Bessie so she's been having a little trouble with the carburetor getting the float level set just right but uh, anyway there you go remote start for a 22R Aloha.